as a customer service rep, a lot of times we can find ourselves switching between screens in order to get the right information at the right time for our customers. With that, first call resolution is always ideal in the customer service world. And sometimes things can extend to multiple days, either due to a gap of information or um, just a delay in updates. So with that, um, let's take a look at a common use case, order creation. Customer calls, they want to place an order right then and there. But in order to do that, a customer service rep may need to switch between their ticketing tool and their ordering platform. However, with Salesforce, as a customer service rep, I'm able to capture that case information up front while on the phone with them. And then once I have that captured, I'm able to go in and generate an order. From the order generator, I'm able to choose between a sales order or an RMA. So in the instance that then a return or a repair is needed, I'm able to also create that. But today we'll be talking through creating an order. As I go to generate this order, we can highlight that we have some of the information already from the case. So we can reduce the amount of time needed to input key information and highlighting other components that may be needed in order to allow this to be captured properly. As I go through and capture some information, a lot of this is going to be pick list so we can easily align with key codes for our order uh, management system, which in this case is our ERP. But once we have the order header created, we're able to reference that within this related section. Going into the order, the next piece is obviously keeping up with our customers and knowing what products they're asking for. As we're on the phone, they'll be listing off the products um, normally by code and then the quantity. I can continue to key these in as the customer lists them off so that I can keep up with what they're saying while the price fills in um, from our ERP system with the customer pricing. We do this so that we can make sure that if there's any special discounts or pricing set for all, our, all of our customers, we're not missing that information, nor are we needing to have it managed in two different locations, meaning both our Salesforce platform and ERP. Once we have that captured, the next area that we wanna put is our scheduled pick date so that we can make sure our inventory is able to support what the customer is looking for. What I mean by that is once we hit save, we're gonna send a request to the ERP to make sure that we do have inventory available. One line does and a couple other ones don't, along with this one where I need to recheck. Once I hit recheck, what's gonna happen is I'm able to have insights to when we may or may not have quantity available, along with um, whether or not I need to adjust my dates. So since I did the recheck and that came back as a positive indication, the next portion where I would need to review is down here for this, or up here for these other two lines in which I would need to be able to see when we may have more available. Right now, it doesn't seem like there's anything available coming in the near future. So I would have to inform our customer that these would be on back order until we receive notice of these becoming available. This will not stop me from creating the order so that they are at least in the queue for when those products do come available again. And in order for me to submit it, I just need to mark the status as complete to begin processing. From there, we'll be able to generate an order within our ERP and it'll continue forward from there in terms of processing shipments and then once shipped, invoicing. All of this allows us to work in one central location without losing insights to key data points that we're capturing from the beginning all the way through the end, along with quick data entry.